Hello guys, I am back with my first empties video of 2019. I have a ton of things to share with you. Um, my approach to empties this year is to kind of focus on certain things that maybe I'm not doing so well on finishing up. So I kind of did that um, this month and you will see I succeeded. I focused on some candles, a few lotions, a bunch of hair things, and masks. I will leave the mask to the end because I know not all of you enjoy hearing about masks. I used a ton. So let's just get started. I'm not going to speak on them, but I did finish three mini candles, which is awesome because I just wanted to clear out. Um, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to dig the stuff out and the other I will recycle. Okay. Skincare. Didn't finish as much skincare. Well, masks I did, but actual skincare. I mean, it's not bad, but finished the simple cleansing micellar water, which was really nice, but I still really just like the Garnier um, a lot more, but I actually got that at the Goodwill for a dollar. And it did a nice job, but I feel like sometimes it did leave stuff left over. I also finished the Biore baking soda pore cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. It's very gentle, but did the job and exfoliated and cleansed at the same time. I finished a retinol cream. And I finished the Saturday Skin. Um, what is this? Oh, there it is. Um, Rub a Dub Dub Refining Peel Gel. My friend Mary sent me this. It's just too gentle for me, which kind of sounds strange, but I don't feel like it really did much. Um, I know you don't want to like aggressively exfoliate your skin, but I feel like this is kind of like um, hyped up. And then lastly, I finished. The L'Oreal Revitalive 10% Pure Vitamin C Concentrate. Um, phenomenal. I mean, totally worth the money and something that I would definitely reuse. I'm just going to talk about these lotions real quick since there's just two. I finished a Victoria's Secret Tees, like deluxe size. This is actually the full size, I think, of it. And a large stress relief eucalyptus spearmint. I think there's a tiny bit left. Oh, there is. Oh, I'm getting more out of it. I'm going to keep this by my desk until it's gone. You know how like you're trying to get the last of a product out and it just stops? Well, I think I got the rest of the air out of it. So I will finish that up. I will hold myself accountable and then I will get rid of that. Um, a, oh, this was skincare lather. Um, I get this from Golden Nugget Casinos. Uh, this is the lather brand. Lavender Lime Moisturizer. I love it. We're, I'm about to go there next week and I'm going to get another one. A um, couple Dollar Tree beauty products that I didn't like. You guys know I love the Dollar Tree and I found some really awesome things at the Dollar Tree. But um, I will talk about two that are not bad after I talk about the two that were terrible. So I love the Valero products, but this body polish, it's coconut oil and sea salt, was just this watery mess um, was not easy to use and I didn't see any benefit on my skin. So I would really avoid those body polishes. This dry shampoo is terrible. It came out like chemicals and it, I know whatever came out is something that I shouldn't be smelling. Um, and I didn't pay attention to it. Um, in the first thing, I mean, it says butane and propane. So on dry shampoos, whenever I look, those are the first two chem chemicals. Of course, there's something for it to come out, right? Um, but it says compared to Batiste. No, the distributor Batiste actually is who makes this. Um, but don't. Um, has for two products that are hair care from Dollar Tree that are awesome. The Salon Selective's Heat Protect with Tropical Coconut Oil. It's like a repairing spray. This was really nice. And I always use the detangler, kids detangler. And this was the watermelon. I used the Barbie one. It smells like cotton candy. Those are great products from the Dollar Tree. Um, I did finish an Equate um, Vitamin E Dry Skin Shave Gel. I love these. They're super cheap. And my skin feels great. Um, let's see. Bath and Body Works. Oahu Coconut Sunset Pink Sand Body Scrub. This was not my favorite body scrub by them. I did use it up. I also don't like the packaging. I know I could like cut it out and try to get the rest of it out, but a lot of it's stuck to the sides here since it is a pump. Um, it's just not the best. I wish there was a pump since it's a squeeze product. It's just not very effective at giving you all your product. 
my beloved stress relief body wash. And I'm almost done with another one. You'll see one next month. Um, hair care. I love this was okay. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know, I reviewed a lot of dry shampoos and this is the best one I've ever used. And Dove has long standing been my favorite. I know a lot of people don't like the Dove sh dry shampoos. I love them. This is like topped it. This is the Schwarzkopf Got to Be Fresh It Up Dry Shampoo. It has this clean smell and it just does such a great job and it actually volumizes. I'm so sad that this is gone. It was a smaller size product. Like this only has four ounces in this big can, but for that amount of product, it lasted a lot longer than a lot of other dry shampoos. It has substance to it, if it makes sense. That's why it actually volumizes and lifts the roots a little bit. Um, and in saying that it absorbs oils better than other things that aren't, you know, has substance. So, um, I can't use this. Um, I use pretty much, oh, oh, I have this much left. I love Rose products. Another thing, if you're new here, I love Rose products and I loved the shampoo. I'm still using the shampoo in my shower, but this conditioner is terrible. It actually just leaves this slimy feeling in your hair. And, um, yeah, this isn't, I really wouldn't recommend this. It's really disappointing to me, to be honest. And another product that I, I have an issue with conditioners, guys. I love the shampoo of a thing. And now this is a conditioner from Biolage, a color care conditioner. And I can't stand this one either. So I think I'm going to, actually, you know what? I'm going to save these for my mom. She'll use them. She can use anything in her hair. Um, this is the Garnier Fortis, uh hair mask. I'm almost done with the last one. I got a set of like six of them from Walmart at Christmas time to try them. These hair masks are nice, but you don't get much in them. So I don't think it's worth paying. These are usually like $3. I'm lucky to get two masks out of it. Um, so they're okay if you can find a deal. Um, okay. I used from Shop Miss A. I got some cotton squares from them and they were three layers. Japanese quality. They were really nice. And they said that they compare them to, um, Shiseido. And I'm like, great. Now I want to buy the Shiseido, but these are a dollar for 40. So I don't know what the cost breakup is. I use some, these are some bath bombs that I have from the Dollar Tree. And this was rose bath soak. Smelled so good. And this was a bath bomb from the Dollar Tree. Lavender. They were all awesome. Some placards. Real exciting. And another thing from Shop Messy, these Cucumber makeup removing cleansing cloths, and they were pretty nice actually. I did finish the makeup, which I am gonna save. Am I gonna save? I'm like going on the fence of do I want to save my makeup empties for the year? Is I can just always look back on my empties Instagram. If you don't know, I have an empties Instagram, it's empties four days, F O R D A Y S. And I post pictures as I'm finishing. I've now started to provide a little bit of a review before it was just, I just posted it and I didn't say anything unless something was like really terrible. So I did finish a full size Urban Decay Perversion, a mini Marc Jacobs um, mascara, which I didn't like at all, an e.l.f. concealer and a Marc Jacobs eyeliner, which I had this for a really long time. And it was great for brightening up with the inner eye. Whew. I need a breath. <laughs> so if you're not interested in masks, this is uh, where you sign off. But if you are, well, you're in for a treat. So I used a bunch of masks. This, there's some hair masks and there's some lip mask and there's some under eye mask and there's sheet masks and the regular masks. So first one I'm going to talk about is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Wash Off Clay Mask. This was okay. But it is like several dollars just for this one use. And I just don't think it's uh, worth it. I also don't think it was like a deep cleansing mask to me. Um, I just expect a little bit more. I finished the Ole Hendrickson Hugh. I think that's how you said it. Hydro Clay Detox Mask. I love this. Oh my gosh. I actually like almost want to cut this open and see if I can get more out of it. I used this at the beginning of January. This was so nice. Oh my gosh. So nice. Okay, let me just inventory here. Um, so I'm really dedicated to finishing masks. I have so many sheet masks, guys. Um, it's insane. And I've been really taking time to mask, 
or self-care just for my mind. Um, so I did a lot of eye masks, sheet masks. Wow, I can't believe I used this. So I'm gonna do the, the hair mask real quick. I love these Mark Anthony hair masks. I love the hairspray, the argan and bronchin oil. This was phenomenal. And this is like my new favorite here. And I have another one now, um, the Unwind by Hosk of Pinot Grigio Shine and Smooth Deep Conditioner has wine, lemon, and pear extracts, non-tipsy formula, it says, free of parabens. This is great, guys. If you see this at Ulta, a lot of times they do like buy one, get one free. Definitely recommend. Then I love these crystal eye masks. I use four of them. I only have a few left. I get them very cheap on eBay, um, and they're really, really nice. I used, I don't know what brand this is, Pilaten. This is definitely from Korea or Japan. Um, uh, lip mask and then a Sephora rose lip mask. I love lip masks. I have lip scrubs that I got from um, Shop Miss A and they really help my lips. Uh, I really could use one right now, actually. Use a bunch of different kind of masks, not just sheet masks. So I finished this Dead Sea wash off mask. This was also something from Miss Shop A and this was really nice. Actually, I got several masks out of the dollar package. So that was good. It's by Global Beauty Care and I've had a lot of good luck with their masks. The Freeman's Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. Not really my favorite. I think this came in a set or some something from Walmart, an old Walmart beauty box or something. Um, this I got from Dollar Tree. It was Yes to Grapefruit Brightening Sleeping Mask. This is one of the first Yes Two products that didn't sting my face. Um, I do have some more other masks that they still have them at the Dollar Tree. So if you like them and you know they don't bother your skin, they're a buck. So I'm curious to see how they're going to work out. So we will see. I only use their products when I know I'm not going to be going anywhere because it really makes my face red sometimes. This was kind of a disappointment. Um, the Ulta Hydrating Glitter Peel-Off Mask in Strawberry and Champagne, and it has hydrolonic acid in it. Um, I know glitter is not good for your face, but I expected actual glitter. It didn't even look like glitter on my face. The peel off mask itself was nice. I'm not a big fan of peel off mask, but if you're trying to get something for an actual glitter mask, that isn't it. This I think is Forever 21. Oh no, CVS. CVS Pomegranate Lime Brightening Gel Facial uh, Mask. I have a few more of these. This was really nice. I really enjoy it. So if you haven't tried CVS masks, a lot of times they go on clearance or they have like buy two, get two, and they're only a couple of bucks. So they end up being like a dollar. Um, this was from Shop Miss A2. It's Daggett and Ramsdell Bubble Collagen Facial Mask. This was so funny. And it didn't tickle like other bubble masks I've done before, but I'm telling you, it just hydrated my skin. It just really like cleaned my skin it felt like because afterwards it didn't have that squeaky clean feeling which I don't really want um and it just had this nice glow to my face so don't be afraid of those kind of masks this is from dermal this is a rose mask this was really nice I have a bunch of their masks just different scents like apricot pomegranate like zillions of ones that I'm going to be working through really nice mask um, this is the Bath, oh, Bath and Body Works. I think this is the first one I ever used of theirs. I have several other to try. If you shea so, shea butter and jojo jojoba oil. One thing I will say, if you don't like a mask that's saturated, like soaked with solution, you're not going to like that mask. It was very hard for me to open it and put it on my face. It did drip. So that's like a mask. You got to sit like a towel on you. Um, but it did such a great job. I mean, if you're having some really dry skin this winter, get one of those masks and you're set. Um, I use this Miss Spa, which is another great brand. This, they sell this at Target. I don't know if it's at Walmart too. Um, this was the Exfoliate one. And it's actually really interesting. It they hold The mask is held together. There's plastic so that you can actually, unlike the other mask, you can open it and get it on your face without tearing the mask because it's so wet. This still has a lot of solution, but it's kind of a foolproof application. So I respect that. This is awesome. It's by Lapcos. I don't know where you buy these. I don't know if she got them at the beauty supply. My cousin got me a bunch of these different masks. I swear I saw this at Sephora though. 
Um, but she got it like four different ones, pearl and other ones I haven't tried yet. But this honey one, it just, and I'm not big on honey, but it's a honey extract and it didn't even smell like honey. It smelled slightly sweet. This was phenomenal. Like my face, can you even see like, it's so glowy. I haven't even put any moisturizer on. I think this is the one I used last night. Yeah. Okay, so I used the mask last night, and I haven't put any moisturizer on my skin. I haven't even washed my face. Don't tell. Um, and it's 3.30. <laughs> um, and my face is smooth, soft, and is glowy. And it's not, like, sweaty, like, oil glowy. It's, like, actually from the extract in this. This is phenomenal. So if you ever see these, they're just, like, very simple design. Try them out. Okay, so I'll do this one first. The Garnier Super Purifying uh, Charcoal Sheet Mask. Mm, I have one more. That's the Moisture Bomb. I like the other Moisture Bomb one I used. This one, eh. I don't know how I feel about charcoal for my skin. Um, it it was okay. It, it did the job, but I'm just, it's not something I would buy again. And then I have a couple of Victoria's Secret ones. So I used two of the Lavender Hydro Gel Masks. These masks are quite expensive. I think they're trying to phase them out now. Um, and they're just okay. If you're looking for an experience where you're just relaxing and a self-care experience, these are great. If you're looking for actual results, these aren't for you. Um, but surprisingly, this one was awesome. Um, this is the Venti Vibes, and it had caffeine in it. And I used it the beginning of this week. And I had like very like tired looking skin. I hadn't been sleeping very well. I put this on my skin. I'm telling you, I didn't mask again for three days. Three, yeah, three days. Or did I do the Sunday night? Three or four days. That's a long time for me not to mask. Especially you see how many I've used in like, you know, how many days? 39 days. What is that? Five, five and a half weeks. I've used all of these sheet masks. So to go that long, that's how good this product made my skin look, feel, it nourished it. It's awesome. So if you can get a deal on those masks, I recommend them but to pay $5 each. Definitely not. So those are my empties. Holy Christmas. Whew. I feel good now, though. <laughs> it's good. I got to tell you all about it. And now I can recycle this stuff and we can get going on another bin of empties for next time. So I hope you guys are having a great 2019. I've been just busy with a lot of personal projects and appointments and just getting back into the swing of the gym and just so many things. So I will be back soon and I hope you have a blessed day.